So uh, this question was asked in year 2004, and here they said they are using a P, uh, which is an array of characters, and there is a string S, which is storing string, and then there is a variable length. So let's see what is happening in this program. So this P, this is P array P. So index locations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 19. Then there is a character S, S is a pointer which is pointing to the string. So S is pointing to string S, T, R, I, N, G and then this null character because whenever you store a string then it is going to store the null characters also. Then there is a variable length and length is going to store the length of this string. So the length of this string is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So there are actually 6, uh, the length of this string is 6 because there are 6 characters S, T, R, I, N, G which are 6. So the, length, the variable length is going to store 6. Then there is a for loop. In the for loop we have i. Initially the value of i is 0. Then it is going to say for the first time p of 0 is equal to s of length minus i. That means length minus 0 which is equal to s of 6 minus 0 which is equal to s of 6. That means whatever is stored at the location 6 that data is going to be stored at location p of 0 therefore at, at the location p of 0 sorry this is 0th index so whatever the data stored at location uh, 6 that going to be stored in the p of 0 so null character will be stored here now the value of i is incremented the i is going to be 1 now so it is going to say p of 1 is equal to s of length minus 1 which is equal to s of 6 minus 1 which is equal to s of 5 that means whatever the data is stored at the location 5 fifth index location is going to be stored at the first index location of the uh, array b therefore g is going to be stored here right next the value of i will become 2 therefore it is going to say p of 2 is equal to s of 6 minus 2 which is equal to s of 4 that means whatever is stored at the index location 4 is now going to be stored at index location 2 of the array p so this is going to store n now again the value of i becomes 3 that is going to say p of 3 is equal to s of 6 minus 3 which is equal to s of 3. So whatever the data is stored at location 3 is going to be stored at location 3 here therefore i is going to be stored here. Right? Now again the value of i becomes 4 and 4 is still less than length because length is 6. So it is going to say p of 4 is equal to s of 6 minus 4 which is equal to s of 2. That means whatever stored at the index location 2 in the S array is going to be stored at the index location 4 in the P array therefore R is going to be stored here. Now the variable, uh, the value of i is again incremented and it became 5. Now this 5 is still length, less than length therefore I have to say uh, that therefore the program will make P of 5 is equal to S of 6 minus 5 which is equal to s of 1 that means whatever going, uh, is stored at the location index location 1 in the s array is now going to be stored at the index location 5 in the p array therefore t is going to be stored here again the value of i becomes 6 now this 6 is not less than length right this 6 is not less than length because it is equal to the length length of this array is 6 therefore the loop this condition will be failed and the execution of the statement come out of this loop and now it is going to print the this uh, p array but as you can see 
the first data of this array is a null character so because of this null character so the string actually is going to print everything till it find the null character but initially it found the null character therefore it is not going to print anything because of this null character so the correct answer is answer number d so d is the correct answer for this question and if you still feel why it is not going to print anything then please check out my other video which is uh, in which i have discussed what is a string and how the percentage what is the difference between the percentage s and percentage c because percentage c is going to print this percentage c is going to just just going to print one character and this percentage s is going to print everything from uh, from uh, whatever the index location we have given till it find a null character right so in this case the correct output output will be uh, it is not going to print any output actually right so thank you